Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day 10 of this juice feast and I'm feeling fine. Physically, nothing major to report. Emotionally, I'm feeling pretty stable throughout the day. There are dips in that throughout the evening and that's completely expected as my adrenals have been pretty much exhausted for the day and they simply need to be recharged. Which brings me to our topic for the day, what to do when your detox plateaus. Let's talk about it. When we're talking about detoxification, we're really talking about the body's natural cleansing process in which it's trying to purge old waste and toxins that no longer serve it. Every moment of every day, we are coming into contact with chemistry. And a lot of this chemistry that we come into contact with is acidic. Friends, what we eat, drink, breathe, and put on our skin is how we bring the outside world in. This is how we interface with chemistry on a daily basis. This includes not just the foods that we eat, the drinks that we drink. It also includes uh, lotions, makeup, other products that we may put on our skin, the soaps and toothpaste that we use. It also includes things like the chemicals that we use to clean our clothes. After all, whatever is on our clothes is absorbed directly into our skin. And then our bodies have to determine what to do with that chemistry. Can it use it? Does it need to get rid of it? And can it get rid of it? I have reached a point in this juice feast where I feel like I'm plateauing. The first week or so was a nice transitionary period. My body was purging some old waste, but now I feel like I have reached a point where I'm ready to dig in deeper. I'm feeling strong enough, I'm feeling stable enough, and I'm ready to do more. So I'd like to take some time with you to talk about how you can speed up or slow down this detox process wherever you are on your journey. Let's take a look at this really nice diagram that kind of pictures how we can move up and down this detox pyramid. If we move up the pyramid, we are speeding up our detoxification process. And if we move down the pyramid, we are slowing down that detox process. If we look at the very bottom, we're really looking at the standard American diet, this includes animal protein, fish, dairy, eggs, cheese. Friends, these are the most congesting and mucus forming foods. So if you are trying to start any kind of healing journey, it is time to say goodbye to those foods. Now, if you need to spend a period of time where you transition to some plant-based alternatives, by all means, do it. That's what those products are there for. If you want to have fun experimenting with some faux meats and faux cheeses, have at it. Uh, food science has come a really long way. Uh, a lot of plant-based alternatives no longer taste like cardboard. And if these products make your transition to a plant-based diet a bit easier, who can really say anything about it? It's your journey. If our goal is to remove mucus from the body, we don't want to continue giving our bodies foods that create more mucus. So as we move up this detox pyramid, it's a given that we're going to be cutting out the animal protein, fish, dairy, eggs, cheese, because they are highly, highly mucus forming foods. This diagram may skip over some levels of detoxification, like a whole food plant-based diet. I would definitely put that in between the standard American diet and your raw fruits and vegetables. But once you move from a whole food plant-based diet, you're moving into your raw fruits and vegetables, and that is an incredibly hydrating and alkalizing diet. But the vegetables do slow down our detox. We are not herbivores. As humans, we are actually frugivores. Our species is designed to eat fruit and a lot of it. The complex fiber structure of vegetables is not really meant for our system. So when we're looking at uh, consuming our vegetables, our leafy greens, it's often best to juice those so we get those nutrients without straining our digestive system to try to process some hard fiber that is really meant for a much longer digestive tract. Next up from here, we have fruit smoothies and a level up from that fruit juices, which is where I've been the last 10 days. I've been mixing fruit and vegetable juice, again, feeling really great. This was a, a perfect starting place for my body right now. Your starting place may be somewhere completely different, and that's okay. Honor your body wherever it is right now.
Next level up, we have mono fruit, which is simply eating one type of fruit. So you could have apples all day or oranges all day. Or if you wanted to, you could always do a mono fruit meal of apples in the morning, a mono fruit meal of oranges in the evening. Switch that up however you want. But that way, you are really simplifying digestion for your body and simply giving it one type of food to digest. A level up from there would be your mono fruit juicing, which is where I will be heading to next. This is, again, really easy to digest for your body. You're only giving your body one type of juice to digest, and really there's not very much to digest. It's simply, let's absorb those nutrients and move on with our day. <laughs> it's pretty phenomenal. And the last level up from there would be water fasting. Let me be clear, friends. Water fasting is very aggressive. It is not recommended at first. You should take quite some time to hydrate and alkalize your bodies first before you attempt any kind of water fasting. And if you do, I would highly suggest working with a detox specialist who understands these uh, cycles that your body can go through to help you work through any healing crises that can and very well may come up. As you can see, there are many levels of detoxification that we can visit along our journeys. And it really depends on where your body is right now, where you want to go, and how fast you want to get there. Unless you have a truly advanced case, generally speaking, there's no need to rush this process. Take your time. Have fun experimenting. And by all means, friends, if you're feeling a bit froggy sometime and you want to really bump up your detox and you bump it up a couple levels, by all means, feel free. See what your body is capable of. See what the healing potential is. And then back off whenever you feel you need to. That's okay. That's what it's about. We have to dig in a bit deeper sometimes. We have to find our limits. And then we back off to a more comfortable zone. When we're feeling stable enough, we want to dig in a little bit deeper than we did last time because we know, oh, we got through that and it wasn't so bad. I wonder what I can do this time. As always, friends, have fun with this process. We're here to play in creation. So play. If you're feeling stuck in your detox, try bumping it up a level. If you're still eating vegetables, you can try cutting those out and bump it up to 100% fruits, berries, and melons. If you're eating the standard American diet, try cutting out the animal protein. Try a good plant milk instead of dairy milk. There are a number of things that we can do. And honestly, friends, when you're starting this detox and when you're moving from the standard American diet, it doesn't take very much at all for your body to start moving lymph and hydrating. So really simple substitutions can make a huge difference at first. I encourage you to play with this. Try things on for size. See what resonates. And as always, honor your bodies. Well, that is it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day 10 of this juice feast. If you're looking for any kind of assistance on your health journey, send me a message on my website at holtox.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.